Yeah. Hey YouTube, um, this is Frankie810 Coast. Just uh, wanted to do another review here. I got a AK parts kit from a actually armsinamerica.com. It's the Polish 1960s parts kit. I got the one with the painted finish and the Polish cold hammer forged barrel already installed. This is my first parts kit I've ever gotten. Um, I just wanted to do a review, just got it. I opened it, um, opened the box, and then I, my girlfriend um, reminded me I should do a, a review for it. So um, I haven't even looked at it. All I did was open the box. Um, so let's see what we got. Comes in a box like this, um, which I really like, you know, them all wrapped up in this, um, it's almost like a, uh, like a parchment paper type deal. Um, this one kind of feels like the bolt carrier maybe. Um, looks like the recoil spring there. Um, this looks like the goodie bag. With all the little parts. Not sure what this one is. Maybe the dust cover. This one is probably the stock. I can feel that. And this right here is probably the barrel. And like I said, it's already pushed on. So let's start with the barrel. That's the funnest part. sixties parts kit. It says circle eleven. A little bit of wear on there, not too much at all. Looks like a nineteen sixty seven. So that's a that's a oldie. Looks like the um, the gas tube is very nice. Nice and tight. No wobble at all, which is awesome. Um, I mean, from the first looks, it looks amazing. Now, this is the AK-47 type, or AKM. It's chambered in 7.62 by 39. I really love that wood. It's nice and dark. It's beautiful. All right, um... It's like the, uh, it was uh, demilled de pretty nice. You can see right here they already have the barrel pin pushed out a little bit. So when I go to press it out and then rivet it onto the receiver, I know which way it goes out. So not that big of a deal, but you know, it's a nice um, addition, you know, courtesy thing that they did. They didn't have to do that, but they did, so that's nice. Like I said, this is the Radom um, barrel. It's one of the best barrels ever made. Um, off the first look, I can see that there is a tiny bit of um, um, maybe like rust or something, maybe just a ding, but I'm really not complaining. It looks really, really nice. Um, it's a lot better than my IO. And this, uh, I mean, just feeling this part just feels like it's made with quality. It's like I got the cleaning rod right here. Um, unfortunately, I'll have to take off this, uh, the, uh, the stock set, unfortunately. And I don't see the bottom handguard, so I hope it's somewhere in the kit. I guess it can't stay on. Well, it sh actually should be able to with the cleaning rod, but 
Maybe they just put it somewhere else, hopefully. Not too bad. Let's see what we got in here. Alright, this might be a lower handguard. Looks like. Oh yeah. I like that. I like that dark tone to it. Some of them on the website look like they're gonna be uh, kinda light. Looks like there's a little ding right here, but so far so good. Looks beautiful. It smells amazing. My girlfriend's giving me a weird look. But I know you guys out there know what, I, what I'm talking about. That surplus smell is amazing. Alright, so that's beautiful. Nice dark wood. I had some that were lighter color. Um, which I'm not too, in, too into. I like the darker wood so it doesn't show up that much. It depends on the color of the wood too. I don't like that bright um, cherry color. There's a uh, recoil spring assembly. It looks really nice. Um, I don't really see anything to be concerned about. How's the lighting? All right. So it looks like here we got the dust cover. This is a good tester to see what the quality is on them. Um, it looks like there's no dents on it, so that's a good, it's a good uh, indicator. It's really nice. Oh, carry. oh yeah, that's beautiful. Looks like there's a little bit of rust on it. Let's see, take the bolt out. Um, a little bit of rust on it. If you see it right there and right here, um, so, but really not that bad. There's a little bit on the back here too. It looks like it rubs right off. Um, but I really love these bolts. It's got the, they're all polished. Um, awesome. You can use it, you tell by the back. It's been used and it looks clean as a baby's bottom. So that's a good sign, too. This bolt looks really nice, too. It's got a couple of little rust spots, but I mean, that's pretty common um, for this style bolt and bolt carrier. Um, and I mean, this is a 1967. So, and they got all the markings on here, if you can see, get in the light a little bit better. Got some markings right there. And let me check the, make sure it matches. They said most of the main components all are matching parts. So this one's 802, this one's 802. So all, of, so these match. That's important. I think the dust cover said 802, yep. All right, more matches. Sometimes they have the, re yep, 802 on the recoil spring that matches. Um, see the Trinion, 802. Sometimes they got the gas block.
I don't see anything on the gas block. It could be underneath here. Um, I mean, that's that's that one's the least of my concern. As long as the trinions and whatnot match. Um, but so far, so good. Put that in there. And once uh, there's a couple of rust spots, once I, uh, they look like you, you can pretty much rub them off. So right here, I'm just guessing it's gonna be the wood stock. Um, this is another good test of the wear. Um, so hopefully there shouldn't be too, too many major um, gouges in it or anything. There's a pistol grip. This looks beautiful. I actually wanted the orange colored one. Um, they say the, the Polish one is the nicest one to have because it fits the hand the best. They make them a little bit bigger. So um, it looks pristine, brand new. Beautiful. So there's that. There's the surplus wood stock. And we are in business doesn't look like it has any gouges or anything in it I saw one post on the website and they're saying how theirs came in kind of uh, beat up with the same kit that I had but um, this one looks beautiful I mean probably just clean off a little bit they said it's laminated so it does look like it's laminated um, has a little trap door right here there's no cleaning kit in it hopefully they have one in the, the goodie bag but beautiful I love I love that wood it matches the whole rifle I wonder if they have a sometimes they have the Serial kit on this one. Serial number, but it doesn't look like they have it on here. I haven't had a Polish one. I know that the the Russians sometimes mark the stocks. I have a Russian SKS. All right. Let's look at the goodie bag. Let's keep our fingers crossed for a cleaning kit. I have my doubts. Alright, All right, let's see in here. Looks like I've not seen a cleaning kit, unfortunately. Looks like there's a little uh, I don't know what's going on with that uh, trigger housing looks like it's a uh, see if I can get this thing to focus Let's see right there Looks like that one was a little bit, a little bit screwed up on that one trigger hole. Um, I don't know what they did, but looks like part of the rivet's still in there or something. Oh. Look at that. Part of the rivet just fell right out. It was still stuck in there.
that was still in there. That's kind of cool. I was kind of worried there for a second because it looked uh, different than the other holes. But it just, just kind of tapped it a little bit. It popped right out. So that's kind of cool. Um, anyway, sometimes these are marked, the trigger guards, but I don't see a marking on it. The, de the demilling on this parts kit looks fairly good so far. Alright, here's the rear trunnion. Rear trunnion is not marked. I'm not sure if they are supposed to be marked. I mean, this one has a couple markings on it, but you know, it's not any serial numbers on it. But that's that. So this is the uh, trigger guard, uh, magazine catch plate. It looks like the wood screws in there too. Looks pretty good. I'm not gonna take them out. Let's see what else is in here? There's a little goodie bag. I'm kind of bummed about not having a cleaning kit. I love, you know, the cleaning kits. Put some of these down on here. So you can see it a little bit better. Alright, so there's the hammer. Looks like it's got a little bit of like cosm cosmoline or something on it. Definitely can tell it's used a little bit, which is fine with me as long as it's not not working. Here's the, it's like the, I forget what this one's called, the, yeah, I forget, the connector spring or something, sear or whatever. Here's the uh, three pens, one's for the full auto, which we're not going to be able to have, but still cool to, you know, have. It's like a single hook trigger. This is a surplus. I wonder if it's marked. I guess pull the Polish don't really mark um, everything, which is cool with me. This is a safety selector. That one's actually marked. It said like 802 or something. Yep, 802. So the safety selector ma matches. That's weird. I always thought they uh, marked the the rear trunnion at least. Alright, and here is something else. I'm not really uh, too advanced in the trigger components, but this is one of them. Not like I'm gonna be able to use this because of 922R compliance. But yeah, it's something to do with the trigger. It's one of those parts. Um, this is another part of the trigger. I'm not sure what this is either. Looks like that's matching, 802. I don't know why they, it's like they mark only certain ones. Unless maybe some of these were maybe replaced by their factory or something. So there's markings on the trigger. It says like YP something. Maybe YPK. But really cool. Really, really cool. 
There's another part. That one's like that spring is drenched in cosm cosmoline. Which is kinda cool. I don't oh I don't really care about the Ooh, got all that hair and stuff on there. All the crusties. Alright, so well I'm not gonna be using that one either, so and then this is a little spring, I'm sure for the trigger somewhere. So we're not using any of those, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the stuff I'm going to use out here, and the stuff I'm not gonna use inside this little baggie. Actually, I might use this bigger baggie, so it holds it better. I like to keep all my stuff in order and structured um, in a bag and label it just you know you never know if laws change um, and you wanna and you ever get the chance to use the parts this is this was in the kit, it's some kind of, looks like a rivet. Let's see if you can see it. Come on, babe. Let it, let it, uh. Let's see here. Yeah, there's some kind of, some kind of rivet there. It was just kind of left in the bag. I could be wrong, but it looks like a rivet. Uh, it's cut off, maybe just fell in there. Kind of cool. Yeah, I think I can use this, uh, this the hammer spring. So I'm gonna take that off, but unfortunately I can't use the hammer. But we'll keep that to the side. Put this in here. Now this is my first part kit, parts kit, like I said. So, I know most of the trigger components I'm gonna have to change out. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to change out the wood, the wood stock. Which hurts my heart, because it's so beautiful. And the handguard for 922R compliance. So I'm thinking about probably maybe putting it on a, they make these like really like almost clone stock sets, this one company. Um, so I'm probably gonna maybe even do that or just get a Bulgarian US made stock set, which are really good. It would actually match my uh, 545 by 39 Bulgarian arsenal. But just, I just don't have enough parts to be able to keep the wood furniture on there. Now, I, I probably could and then just use US mags. Um, wink, wink. But uh, yeah, I'll probably have to uh, get some kind of US stock. I'd rather use the, the mags, the surplus mags, than have the stock set but I don't know we'll see what we uh, can move around and, and use maybe I'll take out the gas piston or something and just change the pistol grip um, oh and uh, another thing they said they came with um, God, I love this bolt carrier love that just love that I want to say chrome a chrome bolt carrier. I don't know if these are nickel plated or not. I think they are, but they might not. It might just be po polished. I think they're nickel plated. Um, it just wouldn't make sense to me if they just polished them down. So I just wanted to show you um, some of the barrels um, came with 
either a slant break or a, they said a, a cap, which I actually wanted the cap because I think the cap looks cool on a on an AK-47. Um, I think that's like, you know, old school, kind of what they had at first, and I really just love it. Um, but like I said, the wood, I really lucked out. The wood on this is immaculate. I actually might try to keep on, keep the wood on and just use US mags. Um, cause it's just beautiful. Maybe I'll change out the floor plate in spring and just put on the, the wood set. Cause I'm going to do a Childers Polish receiver on this one. It's going to be badass. But I still, I'm about halfway to actually building this. I still got to get all the build kits or build parts, build tools to build this. Um, so this was about half the battle. So um, I probably won't be able to build it for probably like five or six months. But. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the review. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Like and um, subscribe.